Imagine a country where 96% of the territory is uninhabitable desert. A place where nothing grows, where life seems impossible. But Egypt has a plan. A $9.7 billion plan that sounds impossible, creating a river where there is no water and transforming 9,200 square kilometers of lifeless sand into a thriving ecosystem. Now, before I show you how they are engineering one of the most ambitious desert restoration projects on Earth, you need to see what this barren landscape looked like just four years ago. Because what you will discover is not just about feeding people. It is about bringing an entire desert back to life. Egypt is facing one of nature's harshest challenges. 96% of its territory is desert, lifeless, barren, incapable of supporting vegetation. Only 3 to 4% of the land is arable, concentrated along the narrow Nile River Valley. For thousands of years, this tiny strip of green has been Egypt's lifeline. But as the population grows from 114 million today to a projected 160 million by 2050, that narrow band of fertile soil is no longer enough. The pressure on the land is immense. Cairo, with over 22 million people, has expanded so rapidly that it is consuming the very farmland that feeds it. Satellite imagery reveals the transformation. Between 1987 and 2021, Alexandria lost 11% of its surrounding agricultural land to urban sprawl. In a country where fertile soil is more valuable than gold, every hectare lost is a crisis. But here is what makes this story different from typical urban expansion. Egypt is not just losing land, it is creating new land where none existed before. And the scale of this ecological transformation is unlike anything attempted in modern history. In March 2021, Egypt announced the New Delta Project, the largest desert reclamation program in the country's history. At its heart is a 114-kilometer artificial river, designed not just to carry water, but to breathe life into one of the driest places on Earth. The plan targets over 9,200 square kilometers of desert, an area roughly the size of Cyprus, to be transformed into productive green land. But here is the engineering challenge. How do you create a functioning ecosystem in a place with no water, no soil nutrients, and temperatures that regularly exceed 40 degrees Celsius? The answer lies in one of the most complex water engineering systems ever built. The artificial river begins by capturing agricultural drainage water from the Rosetta branch of the Nile. Water that would otherwise flow into the Mediterranean Sea and be lost forever. For 50 kilometers, the canal runs along the Mediterranean coast. Then it turns inland and the real engineering marvel begins. Ten massive underground pipes, each three meters in diameter, transport the water 22 kilometers beneath existing farmland. This keeps the flow continuous without disrupting current agricultural operations above ground. After resurfacing, the water travels through a 42 kilometer open canal to reach the Al Hammam water treatment plant. And this is where the transformation happens. The Al Hammam plant is the largest water treatment facility on Earth, capable of purifying 7.5 million cubic meters of water every single day. That is enough to fill 3,000 Olympic swimming pools every day. But this is not just about moving water, it is about creating the conditions for life. The treated water delivers 3.5 billion cubic meters per year to the desert, providing the foundation for an entirely new ecosystem to emerge. A second 42-kilometer branch transfers fresh water from the upstream Nile, ensuring a steady, reliable flow that can support long-term vegetation growth. The entire system represents a $9.7 billion investment in desert restoration. And the method they're using to green this wasteland is as brilliant as it is efficient. The key to transforming this desert lies in center pivot irrigation systems, technology that Egypt first adopted in the 1980s from the United States. The principle is elegant. A pivot point sits at the center of a circular field, connected to the water source. Steel arms rotate around it, spraying water uniformly across the crops in a perfect circle. From space, these fields look like green clock faces scattered across the golden sand. 
But it's not just about aesthetics. It's about efficiency and survival. Traditional flood irrigation in desert environments wastes up to 60% of water through evaporation and runoff. Center pivot systems cut that waste nearly in half, delivering water directly to plant roots with minimal loss. In a place where every drop of water is precious, this efficiency isn't just smart engineering. It's the difference between success and failure. Modern center pivot systems are equipped with moisture sensors and remote controls, allowing precise application of water, fertilizers, and nutrients exactly when and where plants need them. Some of these systems span up to one kilometer in length, creating circular fields that can be seen from space. And the results are already visible. The first phase of the project targets 4,400 square kilometers, with the final goal reaching over 9,200 square kilometers of reclaimed desert. That's not just farmland, that's an entirely new green ecosystem emerging where nothing existed before. The reclaimed land will support wheat, corn, sugar beets, fruits, vegetables, and medicinal herbs. More importantly, it will create habitats, stabilize soil, moderate local temperatures, and begin the long process of ecological restoration. Once fully operational, this project is expected to create over 5 million jobs in agriculture, processing, and land management. But the real question is, is this transformation actually happening, or is it just an ambitious plan on paper? The satellite evidence answers that question definitively. The new Delta project is no longer just a blueprint. It is visibly transforming Egypt's landscape in real time. Satellite images from 2020 and 2024 reveal one of the most dramatic ecological transformations visible from space. What was once endless barren desert around Alexandria and the Bahia Governorate is now covered with lush circular farms. Green circles appear where absolutely nothing grew just four years ago. This rapid transformation became possible when the Al Hammam wastewater treatment plant was completed in June 2023. Built in just 24 months, it now stands as the largest facility of its kind anywhere on Earth. And the scale earned it four Guinness World Records, the largest water treatment facility in the world, the biggest sludge management system, the largest UV disinfection setup, and the most extensive water reuse operation for agriculture. Four world records, one facility, built to restore a desert. The plant does not just purify water, it recycles agricultural drainage that would otherwise be wasted, creating a closed loop system that maximizes every available drop. This approach helps ease the burden on Egypt's underground aquifers, ancient reservoirs that have sustained desert agriculture for decades, but are not infinite. According to a 2023 study, groundwater depletion in the Nubian aquifer has accelerated dramatically. Between 2003 and 2009, annual water loss averaged 32 million cubic meters. But from 2015 to 2021, that number jumped eightfold to 262 million cubic meters per year. This dramatic increase reflects the growing demand for irrigation as Egypt expands its green footprint across the Western Desert. By 2027, Egypt aims to convert 16,800 square kilometers of barren desert into productive green terrain, nearly double the current target. The government has invested heavily in large-scale pumping stations and distribution networks to make this vision a reality. And while the environmental impact of such massive groundwater extraction raises questions about long-term sustainability, there is no denying the immediate results. Desert is turning green. Ecosystems are forming. Life is returning to places that have been lifeless for thousands of years. But every large-scale restoration project comes with challenges and trade-offs. Behind the remarkable success of Egypt's desert transformation lies a complex environmental equation. Creating green land in the desert requires enormous amounts of water, water that must come from somewhere. While the Al Hammam plant recycles agricultural drainage efficiently, the expansion of irrigated land still demands extraction from underground aquifers that took millennia to form. The eightfold increase in groundwater depletion is a warning sign. These aquifers are not being replenished at anywhere near the rate they are being used. The question becomes, how long can this level of extraction be sustained? 
Egypt's answer has been to invest in water recycling technology and efficiency improvements. Center pivot systems reduce waste, treatment plants reclaim water that would otherwise be lost, and the government continues to explore new sources, including desalination and improved Nile water management. But the challenge extends beyond water. Desert soils lack the organic matter and microbial life that healthy ecosystems need. Transforming sand into productive agricultural land requires not just water, but nutrients, soil amendments, and time for ecological processes to establish. The financial burden is also significant. With over $9.7 billion invested in the New Delta project alone, and additional mega-projects straining the national budget, Egypt faces difficult decisions about resource allocation. Critics point to the new administrative capital, a $58 billion project, now only one-third complete with $45 billion already spent, as evidence that ambition may be outpacing financial capacity. Persistent inflation and mounting public debt add pressure to an already strained economy. Yet despite these challenges, the transformation continues. Because for Egypt, this isn't just about economics or even food security. It's about survival in a changing climate. What makes Egypt's new Delta project particularly significant is that it represents a new approach to desert restoration. Unlike natural regeneration projects that work with existing rainfall and native vegetation, this is engineered ecosystem creation, deliberately bringing water to where it does not naturally exist and creating conditions for life from scratch. It's similar in ambition to what China accomplished with its Great Green Wall, or what Israel has done with its desert agriculture, but on a scale that surpasses both. The 114-kilometer artificial river is one of the longest ever constructed specifically for land reclamation. The Al Hammam treatment plant processes more water daily than any comparable facility on Earth. And the 9,200 square kilometers being targeted represents one of the largest desert to agricultural conversions in modern history. From space, the transformation is striking. Those green circles scattered across the golden sand are not just farms. They are proof that with enough engineering, investment, and determination, even the harshest deserts can be brought back to life. But the long-term success of this project will depend on Egypt's ability to manage the environmental trade-offs. Can the groundwater extraction be balanced with recharge and recycling? Can the soil be maintained and improved over decades? Can the financial costs be sustained alongside other national priorities? These questions do not have simple answers. What we do know is that Egypt had few alternatives. With 96% desert and a population heading toward 160 million, doing nothing was not an option. The new Delta project represents both the promise and the peril of large-scale environmental engineering, the ability to transform landscapes and create new ecosystems, but also the risk of depleting the very resources that make such transformations possible. Egypt's New Delta project is one of the most ambitious desert restoration efforts ever attempted. It includes a 114-kilometer artificial river, the world's largest water treatment plant, and thousands of square kilometers of desert transformed into green, productive land. It is a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to reshape even the harshest environments. But it also reminds us that every environmental transformation comes with questions we must answer. How do we balance immediate needs with long-term sustainability? How do we create new ecosystems without exhausting the resources that make them possible? Egypt's experiment is still unfolding. The green circles continue to spread across the desert. The water continues to flow. And the world is watching to see if this massive bet on engineering and determination will succeed. If you found this desert transformation fascinating, you will love our videos on how China turned its deserts into forests, how Ethiopia is restoring entire forests without planting a single tree, and how communities in Arizona are transforming wastelands into food oases. The links are in the description. Subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss our next video on impossible environmental transformations. See you soon.